Hello everyone and a warm welcome to Economicspedia. So today we are here to have the second part of IES 2017 question number 13 B. So the part is econometrics and the topic we are doing is again heteroskedasticity. The question is 13 B. Okay. So we were given the model as yi equal to beta 1, beta 2, x 2, i and ui. And along with this, we were provided with the information that expectation of ui square is not constant and that is equal to sigma square xi square. Right? So, based on this, we are going to solve for the GLS variance of this regression slope. So, the regression slope is beta 2. We have been asked to find out the GLS estimate of it. So, what is GLS? GLS is when we apply the OLS to any transformed model, that procedure is known as the GLS estimate or the GLS variance. Okay. So, here the variance of uh, the error term is not constant. That means this there is a presence of heteroscedasticity in the model, right? For this, we need to arrange or we need to transform the model in such a way that this uh, heteroscedasticity or the non-consistency of the uh, variance of the error term goes away. How? See, so there are many ways of transforming a model. You can use weights you can use difference first order difference or any other difference so that helps in transforming the model so here i'm going to do it by taking weights now how the weights i'm deciding for that we need to focus on this particular equation of it so here we are given that expectation of uh, ui that is expectation of ui square that is variance of ui is equal to sigma square xi square, right? If we write variance of ui divided by xi, then we have 1 by xi square into variance of ui, 1 by xi square. What is variance of ui? This thing that is sigma square into xi square so here this gets cancelled out and ultimately we are left out with sigma square why i have done this step because that's how the variance of this error term becomes constant and due to consistency uh, when the variance of the error term is constant then we have not the problem of heteroscedasticity present in the model so we have all the classical linear regression assumptions valid for this model. We have made it. Right? So what is the weight that we are going to take? The weight is 1 by xi. 1 by of xi. So how the weight is going to come into our model? That is the important step you need to remember. So yi by xi is equal to beta 1 by xi just divide the whole model let's say this is equation number 1 so divide the whole model 1 with xi so that way you are actually transforming the model into a newer model so here we have beta 2 x 2 i by xi and we have ui by xi okay now I'm just denoting it, denoting the same equation with some different variables. Let's say yi star equal to, let this be a small b1 plus we have b2 x2i square and ui star. So this is x2i star and ui star. So this is how we have finally been able to transform the model 1 to 1 prime using the weight of 1 by xi. 
So this is the similar model that is it is a CLRM model with all the assumption holding and once we have transformed the model if we apply the OLS estimate for this beta 2 that will be the GLS estimate of beta 2. Okay, so let's proceed towards the uh, OLS estimate. OLS estimate, what will be? We have beta 2. We know that from the normal equations, we can find the uh, equation to be x2i star x2 bar star into yi star minus y bar star and this divided by summation of x2 i star minus x2 bar star whole square this is the value of beta 2 the OLS estimate now I'm going to substitute this y i star with this 1 prime and let's see what we get okay I'm erasing this whole part now, B2 equal to summation of X2i star X2 bar star into YI star divided by summation of X2i star minus X2 bar star whole square. Minus of this thing, when we expand it, that is, it will be Y bar star x2 i star x2 bar star divided by the denominator as it is we have so here this term that is x2 i star minus the x2 bar star this thing is actually equal to zero because the mean deviation from because this uh, deviation from the mean value is zero so because of that i have written it zero Okay, now moving on, so substituting the value of yi, we get summation of x2 star, x2 bar star, we have beta 1, beta 2, x2i star and a minus of ui star, this divided by the x2i star minus x2 bar star whole square here again after it's expanding we are going to get this b1 multiplied with this thing again the value of this only summation of x2 i star minus x2 bar star is zero so that is why b1 term goes away and we ultimately left out with b2 summation of x2 i star minus x2 bar star divided by summation of x2 i star minus x2 bar star whole square this is getting multiplied with x2 i star and a minus we have the error term so x2 i star minus x2 bar star ui divided by x2 i star minus x2 bar star this is whole square so this whole thing the value of this whole thing is equal to 1 how that we have already discussed in the part a uh, part 13b for the ols estimate you're going to get the link over this click on this i and you can have the explanation for that part so here we can say that this thing is equal to 1. So beta 2 into 1 minus the rest of the thing remains as it is. So here we have summation x2 i star minus x2 bar star ui divided by summation x2 i star minus x2 bar star whole square. So this is the value of beta 2 hat, right? The value of 
beta 2 hat. Now we have to find the expectation of this b2 hat and this b2 hat is nothing but the GLS estimate. So I'm not writing it uh, again and again that this is the GLS estimate. We can have it. So here the expectation of b2 minus the summation of x2 i star x2 bar star divided by the x2 i star minus x2 bar star and we have the expectation of, okay, so this is ui star and this is ui star, expectation of ui star. So this expectation of b2 is b2. What about this? Expectation of ui star. This means what? Expectation of ui by xi. This is the transform variable, right? So, 1 by xi comes out and the expectation is only on ui. We know that this thing is equal to 0. So, anything 0 is ultimately 0. That is how the expectation of this b2 hat is b2 only. So, that is the unbiased estimator we are getting in presence of heteroscedasticity. Now, we have finally been in a condition to find out the variance of this GLS estimate. Let's do that. Okay, so variance of B2 hat or the GLS estimate. This is what expectation of B2 minus expectation of B2 hat. Now this whole thing square. So what is the term? of b2 hat we got write it from here we got b2 minus uh, sorry the plus summation of x2 i star x2 bar star divided by summation of x2 i star x2 bar star multiplied with u i star and what is the expectation of b2 hat was simply b2 this is whole square so this term and this term cancels each other out and ultimately we are left out with x2 i star x2 bar divided by x2 i star x2 bar whole square ui star and then square okay now we are going to apply this expectation on this expression. Let's do that. So here we have summation of x2 i star minus x2 bar star. This square divided by x2 i star x2 bar star whole square and then square. And we have expectation of ui star square. Okay. Okay. Please keep up for the complicated calculations. So this is what this is. We are finding the variance of GLS estimate from here. Okay. So this thing. I'm coming to that. Let's focus on this thing first. What is this? Expectation of ui2 square. That is expectation of ui by xi because of the square and ui star is ui by xi. So I've just written that. And here we have what? Sigma xi uh, 1 by xi comes out and we have expectation of ui square. The variance of ui is sigma square xi square as we have mentioned earlier as well. So here the xi term gets cancelled out and we ultimately have this sigma square. So the variance of beta 2 hat that is the GLS estimate is equal to summation of x2 i star x2 bar star divided by x2i star x2 bar star 
whole square square and ultimately a sigma square okay and we can simply just cancel one of them one of them like so here it will only be sigma square and in the denominator we have sigma to i star sigma to star whole square this is the value of the variance for the GLS estimate and this with this the final part of 13 B of question uh, uh, of the year 2017 gets finished off I hope you have understood the whole procedure but if you have any kind of doubts in any of the procedure please feel free to ask us below in the comment section thank you for watching this